the script. Tanta, did you hear us playing? Denmark heard you playing. Sounded like the British were bombing us again. That's what I said. You're here? Good. How? The Ministry of State Security let you off early? Uh, sort of. S sort of? I've been checking some illegal border incursions. Obviously, you lied in order to come. You mean like the illegal border incursion you made you get here? Geez, Tante, why don't you just shout it out on the street so everybody can hear? Ah, <laughs> oh, you worry too much. Hans, you always have, even when you were a little Butchkin. Do you have the marriage that toasts for your brother? Uh, I don't know if I can do that, Tante. Why not? Well, for one thing, I'm not married. How can I give a toast about something I don't know anything about? Oh, what's, what's to know? Love is blind. Marriage is a real eye-opener. You want me to say that? <laughs> I want you to say something nice. The marriage toast by the oldest sibling has been a tradition in our family since before the Kaiser wore Lederhosen. When you married Uncle Frederick, was there a toast? Yes. His wooden-headed brother, hmm, Albert, gave it. Marriage is made in heaven, so is thunder and lightning. It was for him. What, what was it like in Berlin when you were little? Well, well, there was no dividing lines, but there were bunkers even then. But I used to think of them as highways when things got bad. When I was 14, the army built bunkers like this all over the city. Fortunately, in the first great war, we didn't need them in Berlin. Only the last war, when the Russians were coming, we all had to hide in the one near my, near Frederick. My Frederick helped to construct it before the Red Army entered the city. He was such a good man and so brave. You loved him very much, didn't you? More than anything. More. Ah, he died in the Luftwaffe. He was a pilot, you know. Very brave. And the boy's father, Albert, he died with them. Wokstragen Regiment. What was a Wokstrom? Oh, you were all too young. It means the people's storm. Some st storm. Little boys had old men trying to hold back Stalin's mobs. When the Russians got to the city gates and, and mail... Any male that could move was forced to fight in the Volkstrom battalion. Hans was there. He knows. He was He was just 15. Uh, I was I was in the Volkstrom, yes, but, but I didn't fight. Not, not really. Papa kept me out of it, and when he died... And when his father was killed, a kind young Russian soldier saved our Hans. Hid him until after the, after the miseries. You mean what the Russians did after the city fell? And you've been shelter you've been sheltering us ever since. It's what families do. We love and protect each other. I'm so sorry. Don't be Legion. It's been nearly twenty years. And now my little Mickey, our baby, is getting married. Where are you two going to live? We're renting a small first by the American checkpoint. You're living in the vest? Yes. My job is here. This this is a job? So far. <sighs> I suppose it is for you anyway. Hmm. I think you should stay with your family. Besides, you both need papers and permissions to leave, and they are getting harder and harder to come by now. The government is concerned that so many want to come to the West. I'll just cross over one day and never go back. Don't talk like that while I'm here. You aren't going to report him, are you? Of course not, but I am an officer in the Paws and Control Unit, the Grenadier Police. If they knew, I knew they could be very bad. Forget it, very vort. Besides, Mickey was just supposing anyway. Right, Liebchen? Mickey nods. She surveys a little club. Taunted. A small room like this was all we had for that last year of the war. It was more than just a bunker, though. It was our safety, our hope, as well as our home. I sing you a song. 
a lullaby when you were a little. Do you remember? Yes, forlorn, Fraline. Every night at bedtime. <laughs> That's right, sweetheart. Mickey was just a baby, and you weren't much older. Only Hans and I knew the words or how to sing them. Thank you.